Let me ask you something. Do you think you're playing in tune? Probably your answer would be something like, yes, I'm playing in tune pretty well, why do you ask? And my answer would have been the same for a long time. But then I realized that playing in tune goes actually much deeper than I thought and that I had given this aspect of my playing by far not the attention I should have. The ability to truly play in tune is one of the things that separates the masters from the rest. This realization hit me after I'd been to concerts of two living legends on the saxophone, Mark Turner and Chris Potter. For anyone who doesn't know these two guys, they're probably the most influential saxophone players in today's jazz scene. If you're not familiar with them, I will leave some recommendations for albums to check out in the comments. Anyway, as I mentioned before, I went to concerts of both of these saxophone giants and besides the fact that they are incredible improvisers, technically flawless on the instruments and really in osmosis with their bands, I became aware of one aspect of their playing that I hadn't thought of before. They seem to really always play perfectly in tune. And I don't mean that they played well in tune. No, they really nailed the pitch of every single note perfectly. And what I realized is for once how far you can go with intonation and secondly that this is such a crucial part of anyone's sound. Because of Mark Turner's and Chris Potter's masterful ability to play in tune, what they play is harmonically and melodically crystal clear. And this reminded me right away of a famous quote by Charlie Parker. Since I've ever heard music, I've thought it should be very clean, very precise, as clean as possible anyway. This is from an interview that the great Paul Desmond did with Charlie Parker in 1954. I'll put the link to the whole interview here. Let me make it more clear to you what I exactly mean. Let's take a G major scale for example. I will play every single note with perfect intonation. Now I will play the G major scale with some notes of the scale sounding slightly off. Can you hear the difference in clarity? I'll play once more the perfect version. Now, let me ask you the question from the beginning again. Do you think you're playing in tune? Let's put this to the test. I bet that at least 90% of saxophone players cannot do the following exercise perfectly. It's actually quite simple to find out. For that we need our saxophone and a tuner. First you take a tuner and adjust your saxophone so the G is perfectly in tune. Then you close your eyes and play the second note of the G major scale and A. Really listen to it and ask yourself if this A is exactly at the right place pitch-wise. Once you think you've got it, keep playing the note, open your eyes and check with your tuner. Is it in tune? If not, adjust the note until the A is in tune. Then repeat this, play again a G, make sure it's in tune with your eyes open, then close your eyes again and play an A. Try to play the A in tune as best as possible, open your eyes and see if you were right. 
If not, adjust the note. If this works pretty well, you can go on to the next note and do the same. How did this exercise go for you? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious if I'm right and at least 90% of us are underestimating the importance of intonation and are not able to do this exercise perfectly. This exercise has the potential to really push your playing to the next level. After a while you will find that your ears are getting more sensitive to your intonation and through that your playing will gain more accuracy, more clarity, more beauty, etc. Of course you can do this exercise with any kind of scale, interval or melody. If you should find this exercise very difficult, bear in mind that you've already achieved a lot if you just manage to play the notes a little bit more in tune than before. I would encourage you to do this exercise for at least a few weeks or even better month. If you do this just five minutes a day, I promise you, you will see improvements not only in your intonation, but also in other areas of your playing. Now, with this exercise, you're improving your intonation within the instrument, so to say. But there's also another exercise that you should not miss. It teaches you to play in tune with the other instruments as well. And that's just as important. For this, we need our saxophone and a piano. On the piano, you're playing, for example, a C major triad. But you leave out one note. I will leave out the third here, so the E. Then I will play the note that I left out on the saxophone, so the concert E which equals an F sharp on the sax. I will listen closely, trying to play a perfectly fitting F sharp on my sax. Then I will play the same note on the piano and see if the pitches match. If not, I will try again. I would recommend that you start out with triads like this first, but of course you can also go on to four-tone chords, different intervals and so on. Together with the first exercise, this will put you on the right track to develop a really great intonation. I remember that I did a studio recording a few years back and when I listened to the results afterwards, some takes just didn't sound very good simply because the intonation was slightly off. And unfortunately this meant that we couldn't really use these takes, which was a pity because otherwise the playing went quite well. And this could have been definitely avoided if I would have done these exercises before. So don't make the same mistake as me and really take care of your intonation. If you have any story like this that taught you the importance of intonation the hard way, I would be curious to hear about it in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updates on more videos like this. See you next time.